In this video I want to do a comparison of the two Crete LED 60 watt equivalent LED bulbs. On the left is the newer 4-flow bulb and on the right is their previous generation bulb. Uh, besides the appearance there are some different specs on these bulbs. The 4-flow is 815 lumens and the previous generation is 800 lumens. Also the 4-flow takes 11 watts of energy and the previous generation is 9.5 watts. Weight wise the 4-flow is quite a bit lighter than the previous generation bulb. One thing I like about these Cree bulbs is the packages are very easy to open. As I hold the bulbs, the, uh, the lightness is very apparent on this bulb. You can actually see inside the bulb there are some white kind of uh, circuit boards uh, and the LEDs are mounted on them. They're like reflectors and they're vents at the top and bottom. The previous generation bulb feels like uh, glass here and then it has these, uh, this big heavy aluminum vent on it. Now I'll connect these up to an outlet and we'll look at the bulbs. I placed these bulbs in a fixture with a Y. The 4-flow is on the left and the previous generation is on the right and there really isn't much of a difference in the disbursement of light on this piece of foam insulation I have backing the lights, um, at least viewing from the camera. It's hard for me to capture that what the lights look like in uh, real life. The previous generation has kind of a glow from the middle of the light and, and it's kind of a narrow band. The newer 4-flow looks a little bit more even in the light bulb itself. It looks a little bit more like a traditional light bulb. If you're going to put these in a fixture where you see the light bulb, the 4-flow might be a little bit better if you want the traditional light bulb look. Whereas if you're going to put this in a fixture where the light bulb is covered, I don't know that really matters which bulb you use. I do like the previous generation bulb for exterior um, applications like in a lamp post because it's sealed and it shouldn't get dust inside of the bulb itself. So if you have any questions please leave them in the comments. If you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye.